Good morning, children. Welcome to Sunday school. I hope you are doing good. Let's begin the service with the word of God. Lord Jesus, thank you for this day, Lord Jesus. Thank you for giving one more opportunity to come and talk to the kids, Lord Jesus. Lord, thank you for giving us a new month, Lord Jesus. Lord, as we go to this new month, I pray that Lord continue to bless us, Lord Jesus, to lead us and guide us, Lord Jesus. As we start this session, I pray that Lord Jesus to keep us from all kind of distractions, Lord Jesus. And help us to give you all kind of glory and honor to you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Exodus 20, 15 says, You shall not steal.
Hi children, so how are you all? I hope you're doing good. Okay, so uh, let's begin our service uh, today. So today's topic is stealing. Okay, so we all know what is stealing, right? Uh, stealing means something, taking something which doesn't belong to you, belongs to somebody else, right? Now we all know that is wrong, stealing is wrong, right? So let's listen to a small story about stealing. So there used to be this boy. So this boy, one day he went to a store to buy bread and uh, he sees chocolates. The moment he sees some chocolates and candies, he's, he's like so tempted to buy one. But again, he doesn't have money. Uh, so what he decide, decides is that he will steal a candy. So he stole, he, he will steal a candy and uh, he will just come home and uh, the mom, mom will see that he'll be having his candy. Then mom will ask him, how did you get a candy? Because I didn't give you money. So I'm ready to get this money. Then he had no other option. And he told his mom that I stole uh, from the store. Then mom will tell him that, uh, son, it is very easy to steal. And uh, I know that the shopkeeper didn't see uh, you stealing a candy, but God is watching everything. So you cannot hide anything from God. And by this, he came to know that he did something wrong. All right. Now let's see how uh, what Bible says about stealing. All right. Now if you if you have Bible, open your Bible. Uh, go to chapter. Uh, go to Exodus chapter twenty, verses fifteen, and we have one of the commandments which says, "You shall not steal." Now, what does it mean? What what we have to learn from this uh, verse? Okay. So basically, when you steal something, right? It's just shows that he doesn't care about that person very much. You just want something, you like it. You just uh, don't care about the person, right? You just steal it. Now it also uh, says that it hurts a person. Now let's just imagine you have something, a toy which you like a lot and someone steals your to toy. And how will you feel? You will feel bad, right? You will feel very upset. You will be disappointed that something which you play every day, now it's gone. Right? Now same thing will happen to someone if you steal their things. So it will hurt others. All right? And if you steal things, right, it's like not the way how Jesus wants us to be. Jesus wants, us, wants you to be good and kind with others. Okay? Now the last thing is that this command is about respecting others. So if you steal something, basically showing that it doesn't respect that person. So children, what we learn today is stealing is bad and it's always and you should we need to respect others by being good okay so i hope you understood this short story i know this is a very familiar story, uh, message about stealing right and i hope you'll be a good boy and good girl okay let's close this session with a word of prayer lord i want to thank you for this session lord jesus thank you for this wonderful story of master lord jesus but it's important, Lord Jesus, to respect others, Lord Jesus, to treat the way how we need to be treated, our Master, Lord Jesus. Lord, help us to give a goodness, Lord Jesus, so that Lord will not steal, Lord. And help us to give us all a desire that we need, Lord Jesus. Whatever we need, Lord, toys or whatever things that we want to have, Lord Jesus, I pray that, Lord, you will give, uh, you, you please give us, Lord Jesus, and you make a way for that, Lord Jesus. Once again, I commit this kids into your hands, Lord Jesus. Let this be also a great uh, month of blessing, Lord Jesus. You continue to bless our family as well, Lord. Once again, I commit everyone into your hands, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Thank you. Okay, children, you have a wonderful day. I'll see you next Sunday. Bye.